Hello, I'm Dr. Mercedes Gonzalez, a pediatric dermatologist in private practice in Miami, Florida. I see a lot of children every day with molluscum contagiosum. Molluscum can be stressful and difficult to understand for my pediatric patients and their caregivers. Sometimes it prevents kids from doing their typical daily activities. As a parent myself, I understand how important it is to know about the conditions that affect my child's health. That's why I want to provide you with information that will help you better understand molluscum contagiosum. I am hopeful that the information provided will help you, your child, and your family learn more about this infection. Molluscum contagiosum is a skin infection caused by a virus that is a member of the pox family viruses. As the name implies, it is highly contagious. The virus causing molluscum is different from a typical virus. The virus stays on your skin and causes little bumps on the skin's surface. It is very common and is estimated to affect 6 million people in the United States annually. Molluscum primarily affects school-aged children, 1 to 10 years of age. Lesions are skin-colored or pearly, smooth bumps that have a central white core. They can appear anywhere on the skin and range in size from pinpoint to as large as a pencil eraser. Most patients have an average of 10 to 30 lesions, but I've seen patients have well over 50 and sometimes even 100 lesions. Molluscum can sometimes be mistaken for warts and online have been incorrectly referred to as water warts. However, molluscum and warts are caused by different viruses and have distinct features. Warts tend to be rough with black dots on the surface and are typically thicker in texture. Warts are also generally larger than molluscum. In addition, warts are more likely to be found on the palms and soles, while molluscum is not typically seen in these areas. Molluscum have a smooth, dome shape and have a central umbilication and a pearly look to them. They tend to occur in clusters and can be found in the skin folds. Molluscum are usually painless, although sometimes they can be itchy, sore, or infected. The surrounding skin can also become irritated or inflamed, which is known as molluscum dermatitis. The good news is that in healthy patients, molluscum eventually resolves on its own. However, many times parents are told that it will likely resolve in two to three months, but we know this is not necessarily the case. It can take a while for the bumps to resolve and anywhere from six months to up to two years before the body builds an immunity to it. If your child is diagnosed with molluscum, it does not indicate that they have a weak immune system. Children who already have a compromised skin barrier due to atopic dermatitis or another skin condition are considered at higher risk for contracting the virus if exposed. We know that it takes an average of 13 months without treatment for the body to eventually develop immunity and overcome the virus. Because of the contagious nature of molluscum, it spreads easily anytime the lesions are present on the skin. Spreading of molluscum occurs between people when infected skin touches healthy skin, or when objects that have touched the infected skin are shared, such as towels or toys. I often recommend that parents not bathe siblings together or share bath towels in order to minimize risk of spreading the molluscum to the other sibling. I also try to teach the child not to pick or scratch the lesions as this can cause them to spread. It is not known how long objects remain contagious after contact with the molluscum virus, but lesions typically appear around six to eight weeks after exposure. Molluscum also spreads across a child's skin if he or she touches the lesions and then touches another part of the body, or if unaffected skin rubs on the infected skin, such as what happens in the medial thighs. This is called auto-inoculation. Since the virus lives in the skin, it is not spread by coughing or sneezing. The lesions are usually asymptomatic, which means that there are no associated symptoms like fever, itching, or pain. Sometimes, though, lesions can become irritated and painful, especially in areas where there are skin-to-skin -skin contact, like on the back of the knees, thighs, elbow creases, neck fold, or armpits. Some children will pick at the lesions, which can lead to possible infection. Additionally, molluscum can have an emotional toll on children and their families due to fear of spreading the virus. The presence of visible molluscum lesions may also cause children to be excluded from some of their normal daily activities or be a source of teasing from other children. Having molluscum may require temporary lifestyle changes. 
I usually recommend that when possible, affected children avoid close contact sports or sharing play equipment, towels, or clothes. Long sleeves and pants can be used to cover the lesions. This additional monitoring of an infected child often causes anxiety for parents as well. There are currently no FDA-approved medications for treating molluscum in children. Molluscum contagiosum can be troublesome for you and your child. It can cause physical discomfort as well as social and emotional distress for the child and the family. If you suspect your child has molluscum or has been diagnosed with molluscum and you want to learn more about treatment options, schedule an appointment with your local dermatologist. You can search the American Academy of Dermatology's website to locate a dermatologist near you, or for more information, simply go to aboutmolluscum.com.